Now to that other officer-involved shooting happening in Sevier County. Viewer Matt Leinart sending us this reported video of the chase that happened beforehand. Tonight we now know the name of the 18-year-old who was shot, identified by the TBI as Jonathan Sellers. We've learned in just the last five minutes he is in custody in the Blunt County Jail. Continuing coverage from WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford following the investigation. Three Pigeon Forge police officers are now on administrative leave while TBI investigates this officer involved shooting. The suspect, Jonathan Sellers, is out from UT Medical Center, but we're told before he goes to the Sevier County Jail, Alcoa police want to interview him first. At 4 30 this morning, Pigeon Forge police tried to stop 18 year old Jonathan Sellers after they thought he was under the influence. Sellers kept driving into Gatlinburg, turned around, and headed into Sevierville. Pigeon Forge Police Chief says his officers were following Sellers almost the whole time. Sevierville police stopping the chase with spike strips right at the city limit. But police say Sellers got out and pointed a gun at the officers. Three Pigeon Forge police officers fired, Sellers taken to UT Medical Center. People in the area grateful no one else was hurt. Thank you to the officers that like, stopped it all. We do appreciate that. This stretch of parkway near the Sevierville and Pigeon Forge city limit did not look like this when the officer involved shooting happened early this morning. Luckily, most of the businesses around here weren't open and there weren't as many drivers on the road. Reporting in Sevier County, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. Yeah, this happened, what, 4 a.m.? Yes, early this morning. Yep. No connections between these two officer involved shootings, mm -hmm. but still frightening that both of these happened on the same day. Yeah, just hours apart.